I haven't got the it, edges turned. Yeah. Have you turned the edges? Yeah. Oh yeah, you can just feel it, can't you? Yeah. It doesn't need a lot. No. I can see the chamfer, but I'll just see if I could yeah. see the the turnover. You can and just just see it in the light. If you look here, so the change in the change in the shininess. Yes. Yes, on the inner edge. Yeah, you just just see where the, the change of the yes, light. You can, ju I can just there. Yeah. Good. Or do you get counter sunk rivets that shut properly no, they're, they're, through the counter sunk? The rivets are actually. Yeah, what you have is um, a cutter. That's right. Yeah. Right. But I mean, are the pop rivets counter sunk? Yeah. I guess it's on that black background. Yes, they are, yeah, you can see it. Yeah. Ah, yeah. oh, thank you. This one. See, they're in thing, but when they pull, you get a very slight, very slight dome on them. They never pull completely flush. No. No, because it Cause expands the, way it, the material. Yeah, because yeah. the way it swells the material. Yeah. It actually pulls the stem back up, and it, but it's, it's just a lot shallower than a, than a dome head. Yeah. See, that's your dome head. They're proud, aren't they? Yeah. And that's the chamfer down that side there. You're, you're grinding on this one now. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one of the chamfer yeah. that's on it. And it's got a slight turn on it, the same. Yeah. So it hugs and then afterwards it'll have a, a sealant bead seal down it to stop the moisture getting underneath. Yeah. With small repairs to the existing skins nearly complete. John's cleaning rubbish out of the French wing, ready for when the jig arrives. The first leading edge formers are badly damaged and parts of the stringers are missing and damaged too. This is the replacement skin for the fire damage one. Keith scuffing down the leading edge ready for painting. This shot of the inside of the rear fuselage KB976 Les and Ian are riveting the end skin to the structure Theirs is the lighter coloured skin The one with the skin pins is the one Phil was working on If you remember, this one had fire damage Less inside the fuselage with the reaction block, while Ian outside with a rivet gun. Keeps on the final fit before painting. But there's a sequence, you see, because first of all, this skin on the side's got to be riveted on. Then the leading edge has got to be riveted on along here and up there and then 
that skin's got to go on, and then that skin's got to go on, and then that skin's got to go on. <laughs> Is this because it's all in a sequence? Yes. Because it all overlaps? Overlaps, yeah. Yeah, working up and is it go for down? It's all been derivated down to there. Yeah. That one's off at the bottom. Just yeah. a couple of things on the plane. Oh, thanks Keith. What's the set next stage now then, Keith? Pardon? What's the next stage now? Get it all painted. Yeah, you've checked and everything's... Yeah, you can see now there's a little bit of a gap here, but that once you... because this, this side's got solids in it. Yeah. So once that react, the actual reaction, that'll tighten that. Yeah. For the rest of it. You see, if we have a lot of that, we'll probably see that from this side. Putting that little turn on it closes it nice and smooth. Oh, it is, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So that little turn that on the edge of being it. actually pulled in as well, isn't it? Yeah, that's just pinned up. Yeah. So when you get the more pressure on yeah, the rivet, it's it, 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 it smugger. Yeah. yeah. But so that the, actual turn is actually on the drawing. Yeah. Oh. So now it needs to come off and get painted. Yeah. That's the next thing. And then the next one is the final fit. Yeah, next time it goes on yeah. after we get it up. Yeah. Now, that rivet gun they're doing is vibrating about twice or three times longer than when you rivet a thing. Why is that? Probably a lot of smaller gun. Oh, I see. It hasn't got the power to... No. They all have different, different powers. Yeah. It, um... That's that's what we call it. They call a two X. We call a buzz gun. Yeah. Right. And you see the length of the throw because inside there there's a, a metal kind of piston. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. And it and the air hits that, <coughs> throws the piston forwards, and then there's when it gets to its full travel, there's a, like a drilling that lets the air pressure out so yeah. that the piston can so, fall back. Yeah. It's not sprung loaded, it's no. just free floating. If you can't hear it. Yeah. You hear it? Yeah. It, yeah, it, 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 just, it just floats yeah. inside. And that's the 3X, which so, is the next size up. So it's a longer barrel. Okay. Right. So we get more of a... So you've got a longer throw of the piston. Yeah. Got more force behind yeah. it. Yeah. And then when you get up even bigger... Are oh, these all yours? Yeah. yeah. That's a 4X. Yeah. Right? So these even are... Even longer. Yeah. These are for a larger size diamond to rivet, so... Well, yeah, or... Well, Depends how you, what you like using, really. Yeah. You don't, you don't very often use a buzz gun. Yeah, the only time I use that is when I'm in a very confined space. Yeah, because it, yeah. because of the short throw on it. Yeah. Because yeah. when you pull the trigger, they're pretty uncontrollable unless you're really used to using them. Yeah. So they, they don't just go. Da, 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 they go. Yeah. And it's really vicious. Yeah. So you have to be careful. You have to be used to using a two X to use it. Yeah. And then they go right the way up. To uh, like 7x, 9x, and, and they're really big riveting guns. Yeah. Really got some money yeah. behind them. Oh, good. Right. We learn more every time I come. Oh, well. Yeah. Never stop learning. Oh, good great. heavens, no. I've been doing it for 44 years and I've never stopped learning. No. Certainly done a good job on that. Yeah, quite pleased with that. Yeah. That's come up. Yeah. It's just the last little final finesses that always make the job look yeah. right. Yeah. Are you up to Ian? I am up here, lads. Good.